Hello world, Dino Mega here, and in today's video, Timmy is going to show you how to dynamically power our Ultra Dynamic Sky using our current time from version 2 of my Time of Day Blueprint system. Without further ado, here's Timmy. Hello world, Timmy here. Welcome to Tutorial Time with Timmy. Tutorial Time with Timmy? Seriously? You heard me, Dino. Now, the first thing we're going to do is create a new third person project, then add both the Time of Day system and Ultra Dynamic Sky assets to the project. Now, I'm going to create a new basic level. Next, I'm going to add the Ultra Dynamic Sky Blueprint from the Ultra Dynamic Sky Blueprints folder to the level. Then I'm going to add the time of day blueprint to our level from the Dino Mega time of day blueprints folder. I'm also going to add one of the digital clocks to the level from the Dino Mega time of day blueprints utilities folder. So we have an easy way to see what the exact time is. When we press play, we can see it's midnight from our clock, which is the default starting point for the time of day system. However, it doesn't look like midnight when we look at the sky. And this is the logic we're going to create in this tutorial. Before we dive into the code, we have to do a little prep work for the ultra dynamic sky. And to do this, we just need to remove all the existing lighting that comes with our new level. Since UDS will provide us with all the lighting related actors that we need. Now let's take a look at the settings of our Ultra Dynamic Sky actor in the level. And this time of day variable is what we want to change to update the sky based on our time of day. And the value of this variable is arranged between 0 and 2400. So what we need to do is figure out what this value is using our current day percentage from our time of day. And then update this value. So how should we handle this? What we're going to do is first create a new time of day utility. To help jumpstart you with this, navigate to the Dynamega Time of Day Blueprints Utilities Utility Base folder and locate the blueprint called BP underscore Time of Day underscore Utility underscore Base. This is the base blueprint used by all the included utility examples. And if we make a child out of this blueprint, it will provide us with a reference to our level's time of day PP, as well as tell us when it's safe to start using it. Make a child blueprint of this BP time of day utility base by right-clicking on it and selecting Create Child Blueprint. Then name your child blueprint. I'm going to call mine BP underscore time of day underscore UDS. I'm going to then move this new blueprint back to the utilities folder with all the other ones, and then just capture a thumbnail for the blueprint using the right-click menu in our content browser. Go ahead and drop a copy of this new blueprint into the level, then open it up. Remember, the two perks of using this utility base as our parent is that it provides us with a time of day VP reference as well as tell us when it's okay to start using it and it tells us when through the on time of day loaded event so go ahead and override this event from the functions panel and by default you won't see the bp underscore time of day reference it creates for us but if you enable show inherited variables using the gear menu you will then see it at this point we can easily get anything we want related to time from our time of day bp reference but what we don't have is a reference to our ultra dynamic sky blueprint which we will need to update that variable on it so let's get this reference before we start working out the formula from our on time of day loaded event, drag off and select get actor of class. Then from the list, search for and select ultra dynamic sky. Then let's just promote this to a variable we call bp underscore uds. And now we have both our uds and time of day bp references. This blueprint we are working inside of is the bridge that lets the two different systems communicate with each other. And for this tutorial, what we want to do is update our time of day variable inside our ultra dynamic sky whenever the time changes in our time of day system. But we have a few options for this. We could tap into the time of day's on new minute event dispatcher, which will tell our blueprint to update when the minute changes. But if we're using this, we may see some skipping with our sun and moon across the sky. And to avoid this, we're going to instead use a self controlled timer to drive it at a fixed rate of time based on the freshest available data. Continuing from our set node, drag off and select set timer by event. And for time, I'm just going to set it to 0.1, which is a little aggressive, but you can play with this to get a feel for what works best in your project. The higher the value, the less often it will update, which could give you a little bit more performance. But if you see your sun or moon skipping across the sky, then you raised it too high and you need to lower the value. I'm also going to enable looping. Then from the red square, I'm going to drag off and create a new event that I call Refresh UDS. Go ahead and drag in a reference to our BP time of day. Now we know the variable we want to change is the value between 0 and 2400 based on the current time of day. And to figure out the value for the current time, we want to use the current day's percentage complete multiplied by the max value of this variable. We can get this current day percentage using the get day percentage function from our time of day BP. Let's now drag out our reference to our ultra dynamic sky with the BP underscore UDS variable. And from it, search for and select set time of day under basic controls. Then hook this up to the refresh UDS event. Now for the value of this variable, we just need to multiply our current day percentage by the max value of this variable, which is 2400. Go ahead and plug it in and give it a try. That's it. As soon as we press play, the view updates to midnight. And if we look closely at the moon, we can see it is moving. And we can boost the default speed multiplier on our time of day blueprint to make it more noticeable. And now we can really see it moving. That is all it takes. You now have a reasonable time of day utility that will automatically update your UDS sky rotation with the latest data from our time of day system. To use, just drop a single copy of it into your level with our UDS and time of day blueprint. Easy, right? Well done, Timmy. If you have any questions about this tutorial or if there's anything else you'd like to see how to control over time, please let me know. Thanks for watching and good luck with your project. You heard me, Dino.